Hello. How's everybody doing? This is King Atrium. King of Amazonia. The Pan-African King. The spiritual leader. Amazonia. Is going to go through hell. Before it can have a chance to achieve independence. Especially with the fact that now BI is, has been, you know, given another seven years as presidency in Cameroon. Though the people, the Francophone people, are not necessarily happy about it. But they will have to step up the game and fight President Paul Bia. And probably in the process, divide the entire country into four fractions probably but that's a story for another day our key problem right now is the fact that our leaders the Ambazonian leaders are not united there's a fraction in leadership that is going to be a problem because there's going to be a a ripple effect in the military of Ambazonia on the ground which we need a united military on the ground and through the county by county strategy the county by county strategy is the best way forward hands down the block by block strategy did, did it best to motivate to inspire to to waken the anglophones to realize that the only option for them to survive in this country is to fight back that was the goal at least for what i saw that was the goal for the block by block strategy the block by block strategy cannot be used completely to free ambazonian because Amazonia is a big state and you can use block by block to defend the entire Amazonia to, to successfully have an independent state which is why the county by county is the best I don't give a damn about the local by local because that was something brought up by the interim government to hijack or to have some control over the county by county and the block, uh, b the block by block strategy did inspire a lot of people, inspired me included. But let me make, say something. The AGC is fighting so hard to put Ayabacho as the president of Amazonia. This is not, we're not, we haven't achieved our goal yet. We as a people, as Amazonians, have not achieved our goal yet. And this this need to fight for being the, the leader, to fight being the leader, the president, to be the one to be in control of 10 million people is stupid and is holding the revolution backward. This, I, I call this as a francophone mentality that is ens enslaved in the mindset of African leaders, of Ambazonian leaders. Of Ambazonian leaders. It's, it's, it's a Francophone mentality where you say, I'm the leader, I must be the one. Yeah, we don't. Leadership shouldn't be like that. This is the time for us to work together to achieve the one goal that we are fighting for as an Ambazonians. And the, the ultimate goal, the ultimate prize, the reason why our people are being slaughtered, they're, be, they're living in bushes and forests, the reason why we're fighting for is for a free, independent Ambazonian state. So it doesn't matter who the leader is, so long as our leader, it doesn't matter who the president is, so long as our leaders, our leaders can keep their ego aside and work for the benefit. Keep that pride aside. Keep that ego aside, Ayabacho. Keep that pride aside. Uh, uh, 
Sako. Dr. Sako, keep that. Try to, because if we don't do this, with the fact that Cameroon has, this, you know, they have their own issues, but they, they know that they have but one leadership. They don't have a problem with that. We do. And because of that problem, it is affecting the morale of the military of Ambazonia. The military is also divided because the leaders are divided. But if you guys can't find a way to work as a one force, then we should try to split the labor. Ayaba Cho should take his team, which is made of Tapam Ivo, Dr. Success, Marcolet Enkumo, Vela Franklin, Capo Daniel. Who are always advocating for Ayabachu. They should take their team and concentrate on counties and try to free one or two or three counties to show that they, they can do something. And that should that should that should also apply to the interim government because the fact that you guys are fighting for who the leader is and who is who, who is the president, who is this, we still haven't free one county. We still haven't free one county completely. We have it. Why is that? Because of the lack of poor leadership. And it goes to Ayabacho, it goes to the interim government, it goes to all the leadership. We still haven't free one county. Then who, why are you fighting for who is going to be the president if you don't win the revolution, if you don't win the civil war that is about to embark or that we are about to embark? If we don't win it, why are you fighting for leadership? Why are you saying, oh, I have to be the leader, I have to be the president, they have to listen to me, this. Why are you fighting all for that? Because so long as you don't achieve the, the goal, the ultimate goal, the freedom of Ambazonia, the, an independent state, all that nonsense, all that noise you're making, Ayabacho, all that noise, your noise you're making, Dr. Sako, it means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. The two of you guys, Ayapacho and Sako, are destroying the revolution, including that big mouse you call um, Chris Anno. He too is destroying the revolution. I hold all of them accountable. All of them. If this revolution fails, not because of the interim government, nor is it because of Ayabacho, it's because of all of them. It's because of the interim government and Ayabacho cannot keep their pride and ego aside to focus on the real issue that we need to achieve. The, re the main goal, the ultimate price of all Amazonia. The reason why people are being slaughtered, burned down by the forces of the Republic of Cameroon. The reason why the Republic will come up with schemes and ideas of how to, to, to kidnap our children and say that they are amber, amber boys. Why? Why, why? why were they able to do that? Because the leadership of Ambazonia is divided. It's the, the leadership of Ambazonia is divided, and which is the reason why they have the opportunity. If you people can learn from that, then... The reason we are fighting for this revolution is meaningless. If you cannot put your pride and ego aside and think of the 10 million Ambazonians, that we must free all the counties. We must free the entire state of Ambazonia. And we cannot do that with a divided leadership. You, interim government, and AGC have hijacked this revolution. For them, they think that they, they are the all and all for this revolution. They want to be the Jesus Christ. But the state is not free by one man. Even Jesus Christ didn't save the people. In the process, he got killed. Until today, we still suffering. So, people say, oh, Jesus Christ saved the people. You cannot be saved with that. Fuck that. Jesus Christ failed. Just like the interim government and agency will fail if they don't keep their ego aside and work as a team of none of them are sellouts. None are, none of them are agents of like, like public are people proclaimed to be. 
It's just that they don't agree on things and they want Ayabachu wants to be the mouthpiece. The interim government wants to be the mouthpiece. That has created the, the, the division in, in the leadership of Amazonia. But if the leaders cannot come to an agreement, if the leaders cannot come to an agreement, the military leaders, the military leaders who are the ones doing the work on the ground should come together. If Ayabachu and the IG, Dr. Sako, cannot come together, the military of Ambazonia, of the 13 counties, should come together. Because you are the one feeling the pain. You are the one doing the killing and you are the one face, facing the death from the military of the Republic. Those people who are outside fighting and trying to say they are the leaders are not going through that. You are. So no matter what they are fighting, oh, I want uh, Ayabachu wants to be the interim government or the interim president or the active president and then Dr. Sanko is saying, no, I'm the one. If they keep fighting, then you know what? Let the leaders of the military of Ambazonia come together. You're on the ground. You know what is happening. You feel the pain daily. You see your soldiers being killed daily. So the key for the, the key is to bring the leaders, leadership of the military together. Work coordinatedly. Share information, and then the leader, the military leaders, should take over the counties. The military leader should take over the counties, and the county by county process with what Eric Tactor is doing, raising funds and supporting supporting the counties. With that, we can create. Train more military, mili military soldiers of Ambazonia in each county so that we can spread the war across. Spreading the war across each county would weaken the forces of La Republic because then they will have to spread the military across Ambazonia. They don't have a big military that will be effective in fighting the 13 counties. That is the goal, to weaken the, 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 the military so that we can demolish and strategically destroy and kill them and eradicate them within our counties. This is the phase one for the civil war of Ambazonia. The phase one is to make sure that we create a great military county-wise, county militias. To fight the, the, the forces of La Republic in that perspective county. Doing that, when that is being done, it will make it easier for us to defeat them. And when we defeat them within our counties, we can take the war now to protect the state of Ambazonia through the borderlines, making sure that like, public forces cannot get into our county. And that will be phase two of this revolution. But we haven't accomplished phase one because of the bad leadership of Amazonia, the poor leadership of Amazonia. To win any civil war or any revolution, you need military leadership, you need military leadership. If we don't use our military leadership to achieve our agenda as Ambazonians, then our people will be slaughtered for nothing. This is King Ajum, the king of Ambazonia, the spiritual leader. Henceforward, I'll be watching.
and see what people like Tapang Ivo will keep talking about. Oh, Ayabacho is the one that have the president. I, uh, Sako needs to step down. Step down for what? Sako needs to be doing what he's doing, and Ayabacho needs to concentrate on freeing freeing some counties and. So does the interim government. The interim government also have to free some guns. Because if you don't do this, if we don't use our military to fight the forces of the Republic on the ground and defeat them. We will never achieve what we want to do. Military might speaks louder than anything. Action speaks louder than anything. It's not just about talking. It's about taking bold step, and I can I notice when it take comes to taking bold step, Doctor Sako is not the man to take bold steps, bold actions. You know, he's he's kind of feeble when it comes to that. That's just my opinion. But then again, he's the interim government that the people have chosen. So there's nothing we can do about that. We just have to work. And Ayabacho will just have to work with the interim government. There's no way he's going to take out the interim government right now because the people of Ambazonia decided that. At least they support him. Unlike Ayabacho, who has a few of people also supporting him. He's a great speaker, you know. But um, I've noticed he's also switching his game now. At first he used to talk... In a, in a cool, mellow manner, you know. But now he's trying to be strong-willed, in a sense, attacking verbally also. So, hey, we'll be watching and see what they're going to do. But the leadership of Amazonia sucks. Right, let me give you an example of what I'm trying to say before I wrap up. We have this thing, if you watch wrestling, Raw and SmackDown, if you, you know, they have different fighters in different, both different brands. But they have this thing called Survivor Series, where a group of the a Raw team will have to work with each other, even though they don't like each other. And a group of SmackDown team will have to work with each other to fight the two brands. Two brands gonna go head on head, and if they they don't like it, there are some of them who are mixed up. They don't like each other, but even though they don't like each other, just like Ayabacho doesn't like the interim government, and the interim government doesn't like Ayabacho, they don't put their, 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 their that that negative passion aside and concentrate on the main agenda, which is beating each other's brand. You know. The ultimate goal with the Ambazonian people is liberation. But our leaders need to keep their ego inside and work together. This is exactly the same thing Raw and SmackDown does. You know, different people working together even though they don't like each other. To make sure they win. Smacking that ass down. You know what I'm saying? Raw, SmackDown. It's a war, bloody war. We are fighting a bloody goddamn war. That's what we are doing. We are fighting a goddamn war. But our team, our players, our team must find a way, even though they don't like each other, must find a way to work with one another. You know, all this name calling saying, oh, you're, you're an agent of the Republic. You, what proof do you have that this person is an agent of the Republic? If you think by saying that, people will, oh, no. It's ridiculous. The reason why it ain't, uh, Dr. Sacco is the interim government is because the people supported him. And you are the one, I have about you, you are the one trying to hijack this. Without trying to work with them. It's not going to work that way. You know. It's not going to work that way. You will have to work as a team. To destroy. 
the military of life. In that note, I'll say goodbye till next time. This is King H.